If you take, let's say, there's a big difference between men and women in terms of trait agreeableness <clears throat> Compassion and politeness On average, women are more agreeable than men And the difference is approximately this If you take random pairs of men and women out of the population Let's say you had to make a bet on who was more agreeable If you bet that it was the woman, you'd be right 60% of the time Well, that's not that much It means you'd be wrong 40% of the time That's almost 50% of the time so this is a big difference by social science standards, but that's the magnitude of the difference There are some differences that are bigger, like the difference between men and women's interest in people versus things is actually bigger than that That's the biggest difference we know But it's a big difference, let's say, the agreeableness difference, but still, they, the shared attributes of men and women far outweigh the attributes that differentiate them Because you could ask are there more differences within groups or between them? Now, the postmodern answer to that is between them. That's why you need diversity by group, right? That's why you need different races. That's why you need different ethnicities and sexual preferences and all of that. Well, that's wrong. There's more difference within the groups than there is between them. You don't get diversity by crossing the groups, you get diversity by, by selecting across individuals. In fact, the idea that there is more differences between groups than there is between individuals is actually the fundamental racist idea It's the fundamental racist idea, which is, well, let's say you're Asian You're so different from me that there's no overlap between our groups And you're also so different, and there's so little difference within your group That now that I know that you're not me, you're not one of mine, I actually know what you're like No Technically, that's incorrect. That's wrong. That isn't how you get diversity Now diversity is actually necessary because people differ in intelligence and they differ in temperament and they differ in skills And so you actually need diversity because otherwise you can't take advantage of all those differences So you need diversity, but you need genuine diversity 